Hey everybody, welcome to my short little tutorial to show you how to make a one-touch button to put on your touch bar to connect to your AirPods from your MacBook Pro. This shortcut does require a better touch tool, but you can try it out for free to see if you'd use it first. If you find it really convenient, then you can make the purchase to make it a permanent shortcut on your touch bar. So if you don't already have Better Touch Tool, the first step is to download Better Touch Tool from their official website. I'll leave a link in the description below. Like I said, if you're not sure, you can always download the trial version for now. At the time of this video, you can buy a two-year license for just $7.50, so it's not that much if you decide to purchase. Once you've downloaded Better Touch Tool, install it by double-clicking the zip file and moving the app to the Applications folder. Now that you have the app, we'll come back to that shortly. The next step is to build the little animator app to connect to your AirPods. In many ways, this is a follow-up to my video Connect AirPods to your Mac with a single click. Just follow the instructions in this video to create the app, and then check out the direct follow-up to that video Connect AirPods to your Mac with a single click release of the icon to get the AirPods icon for your app. Once you have the Connect with a Single Click app set up, you can use Better Touch Tool to create the touch bar button. First, open the Better Touch Tool app. Once that's open, I'd recommend setting it up to launch on startup so the button will always be present on the touch bar. To do this, click on the Better Touch Tool menu in the upper left and choose Preferences. Then in the Basic Settings window, click to put the checkmark beside Launch Better Touch Tool on Startup. Now you can close the Preferences window using the red X in the upper left corner. Now we can go create the button. In the drop down menu along the top of the window, make sure you choose Touch Bar. Then click the blue plus button to create your new button. Then in the Action window, expand the Controlling Other Applications section by clicking the triangle to the left. Then choose the Launch Application option. Now click Select App File. Then select the Connect AirPods app you created and press Open. Then click on Now Select Trigger and choose Touch Bar button. Then you can type in the button title. I'm using Connect AirPods, but you can make it whatever you like. After that, click Save and you'll see the button you created appear on the touch bar. Now if you'd like to add the icon to your button, there are a few ways to do it, but I'm going to assume you already added the icon to the app originally and no longer have the file. So first go to Finder and open the Applications folder. Then right or two button click the Connect AirPods app you made and choose Get Info. When that comes up, click the app icon in the upper left of the window and then copy it to clipboard using Command C. Then go back to Better Touch Tool and press Select Button Icon and click the Clipboard button. And if available, press the Save button. Now, your one-click Connect AirPods button is on the touch bar. To close the Better Touch Tool configuration window, just press the red X in the upper left corner. After that, I removed the shortcut from the dock to free up some dock space. But that of course is up to you. I also made a custom touch bar button for my Beats Solo 3s as well. You can also use this option in Better Touch Tool to create shortcuts to pretty much anything on your Mac. It's a very powerful tool, as this video barely touches the surface. It's not very difficult to connect your AirPods to your Mac using the default methods, but I found the connect button on the touch bar really convenient and fully recommend trying it. Have you found it helpful? Please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, and Nintendo Switch game walkthroughs every week. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.